Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. We want to thank you for tuning in every Tuesday at 12 noon to uh, bring you empowerment. Our mission in Pinoy Power Media is to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower you. And today is a very special day. I have a wonderful um, leader, servant, uh, overall humanitarian, and always there. You can always uh, count on uh, Raymond Sebastian. Uh, welcome to Pinoy Power uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you for having me. Um, uh, first of all, I just want to make sure that um, he is indeed uh, has. Uh, proven his abil ability to lead uh, by being voted uh, president of Wahoo Filipino Community Council. Yep, that's so correct. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so when we hear of Raymond Sebastian, um, what would you like to uh, tell the people about describing you? I just want to be the good guy. <laughs> um, that sounds good enough for me. Yeah. I just want to be the good guy. For for me, it's it's more of my, my personal mantra, it's, it's always better to be the better person. Mm -hmm. So wherever I am, whomever, whoever I am with, it's, I'd rather be the nicer guy or the better mm -hmm. guy than the people around me. But did you know that the bad guy gets all the attention? Let them. <laughs> Let them. I'm fine as long as I'm the good guy. It's like KSP. Yes. <laughs> That's uh, very um, enlightening yes. and so uh, such an optimistic attitude to have. That's mm -hmm. Because for, for me, being in the community, mm -hmm. especially in the Filipino community here in Hawaii, we have a very diverse culture still, even if we're Filipinos as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, we have it's, our yeah, differences. Different, differences, different cultures. We uh -huh. still have a regionalistic culture. Yes. And it's hard to come together, but we're, we're going there. And we've mm -hmm. been doing this since, well, 59 years already, since the statehood of, uh, of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, the island councils, um, plus the United, Counc uh, United mm -hmm. Filipino Council of Hawaii has been established then. Yeah. So almost 60 years, and we're here still. That means mm -hmm. that longevity mm -hmm. is, is something that we can be proud of. Yes, we're there, we're resilient for a reason. And uh, whatever the case may be, um, you know, uh, Raymond, it's a lesson that we all have to learn for life, uh, especially our culture and, uh, uh, you know, crab mentality goes back way in biblical times. Uh, it's, it's something that we have to deal with, but it's mm -hmm. more of how, how do we deal with it? Mm -hmm. um, I'm relatively new to the Filipino community. When I was just visiting Hawaii, mm -hmm. you were one of the first few person who welcomed me into the fold. Actually, I started as an entertainer. Mm -hmm. If you remember around 2000, You were here for a visit. I was here for a visit. Yeah. and you I was infatuated with your talent then. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And, and being you as a whole uh, person. You saw me sang at a funeral. Mm -hmm. And then you saw me eating at a fast food one night. Yes. This was December, I think, of 20. You got great memories. Yes. Yeah, quality December, of a good yeah. leader. December 2010. Mm -hmm. And then you handed me your card and said, can you come and sing at my radio program? Mm -hmm. And I was a nobody then. Well, I believe in giving people a chance because I like what I heard. So I have to share it to the world. And you giving a chance is what we need in the Filipino mm -hmm. community. Um, I was just given a good break. That's why I am. You are lucky. I am where mm -hmm. I am right now. There, I just, I am just thankful of mm -hmm. the people who trusted in me mm -hmm. when I went into the community and started doing what I love to do, which mm -hmm. is just. I am from the University of the Philippines, mm -hmm. um, Diliman, and our motto is serve the people. Mm. So it's, it's ingrained in me to just be there and help in whatever way I can do to help. It sounds like uh, you were born to uh, lead and uh, to take uh, people with you uh, and come together. Well, what I'm thankful for are my parents. 
Mm -hmm. uh, my parents are actually here in Hawaii right now. Oh, they're they visiting. Are? Yeah, uh -huh. they're visiting. And um, I grew up actually in a very conservative family. Mm -hmm. There are five boys. I'm mm -hmm. the middle child. Mm -hmm. So with that, it's it's always a competition when it comes to attention or something. I had very, boys are very competitive, yes. but of course girls can be too. But we were church grown as well, mm -hmm. so we grew up with the church, and I guess that faith that my parents mm -hmm. instilled in me um, made me have a good sense of what is right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing that into the leadership that I'm doing right now. So. The, the strong sense, the strong moral compass mm -hmm. that I have helps me deal with all the people around me. You know how it is. That's an <laughs> asset, Raymond. Um, it, it, you know, sometimes it is, it is hard to uh, be the one that's trying to uh, do the right things when you're surrounded with, you know, a lot of negativism because uh, they don't want you to outshine them. They don't want you to do well. It goes back to the crap mentality. But yeah. With your positive and optimistic attitude uh, and great leadership, I know that we can change one person at a time. I have nothing to lose. You know why, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, when I was 25, I had to, you know, I went through um, major depression. I, ha I was diagnosed clinically depressed then. Mm -hmm. And I'm very open about this. I'm not shy Thank about it. Thank you for opening up um, your soul. It's because yeah. one of my advocacies too, and it's mm -hmm. real. Depression is real. It's not just sadness. It's mm -hmm. not just being low mm -hmm. or disappointment. It's more profound than that. Mm -hmm. and like uh, totally no, no hope. No hope. No, no care. Reason. You don't really yeah. care at all. Oh. You know, that's when you stop yeah. caring for, for yourself, for the world and everything. And I went through that. The lowest of the low. Yes. Yeah, so, when you have nothing in life to look forward to, I, I, I hate to be in that, in that place. And I, I went through that when, when I was 25. Mm -hmm. and the peak of your life. I supposedly. Actually, yes, I was at mm -hmm. the peak of my life. Mm -hmm. At 25, I was an assistant vice president of mm -hmm. a construction and manufacturing company in the Philippines. Wow, big role for yeah. a 25 year old. For to 25 fill. years yes. old, I was. Uh -huh. And it was then that I realized that it was lonely at the top. Mm -hmm. If you're not surrounded by the people who would care for you. There's that, a, that, there's that saying. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. It's really lonely at the top. Mm -hmm. It came to a point that I, I can't even have just lunch with anyone. Mm -hmm. Or if I have to be made with my friends, I have to beg for them or go out with me. I'll pay for everything. Mm -hmm. Just go out mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But see, 25. And I was already responsible with several hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. And it got me, it got into me. It's like too much too soon. And again, it's, it's like I'm going through the cycle that it's too much too soon. Mm -hmm. Like e even with my presidency with the Oahu Filipino Community Council mm -hmm. now, it was too much too soon too. But I'm, at least I learned already. I know how to hold back and I know how to dance mm -hmm. with the crowd. I know how to uh, filter my emotions. I know how to handle the people around me. I know how to handle myself. That's part of your good guy image, and that <laughs> uh, came from your very solid uh, fondo, um, foundation of knowing what's right from wrong. Well, well, right and wrong is always relative. It's a philosophical conversation, but what's good for everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, what may not be good for you may be good for everyone else. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as a leader, you have to have. Um, that, that aspect. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to sacrifice? Actually, my mm -hmm. spouse and I have some conversations every now and then mm -hmm. regarding mm -hmm. why are we spending too much, you know, mm -hmm. for, for the community? And mm -hmm. we, we're not rich. Yeah. We're just getting by. Spending too much time, too much money, time, money effort, resources, right. uh, our wealth. Mm -hmm. That's right. And for me... He's normal. <laughs> for me, it's like... I would get scoldings at 2 or 3 a.m. because I'm still in the computer working. Mm -hmm. Because I, I have a full-time job. And then when I come home at night, I have mm -hmm. another full-time job working for my community work. Yes. Um, again, I'm thankful that I was given a break. Mm -hmm. um, well, I started with um, the Filipino. I, I started as an entertainer mm -hmm. in the Filipino community. Yes. I, I, I you sang for me yes, too. Yes, I, I sing, I do emceeing, yeah. which 
you you always been a great supporter every time you would see me MC at a concert. Mm -hmm. There are several concerts that you're there, and oh, I love yeah. you, and thank you, because you trusted in my talent. And, well, you bleed between uh, being my son or, or <laughs> my little brother. Yeah. So that's where I started. And then people started noticing, too, that mm -hmm. I, there's, there's more that I, I, I could do for the community. Mm -hmm. And um, I was given a break when um, the Garcia brothers, Romeo Garcia mm -hmm. and Provel Garcia, started um, hanging out with me and building me into, into work towards the community. Mm -hmm. So we started the Filipino American Maharlika Association. You're coming out. Uh -huh. Yes, it's the first um, Filipino association in Hawaii mm -hmm. that's advocating for the LGBT. Yes. So we've been uh, staging the Miss Maharlika USA every year at, at a, one of the biggest hotels in mm -hmm. Hawaii, and it's been successful all the time. This is the third year that yes, you've done that. Yes, this is the that. third yeah. year. Yeah. And then because of my involvement with uh, FAMAS, and then um, they got to see me write and talk. Mm -hmm. And then Mr. Provel Garcia invited me to mm -hmm. be one of the speakers of Gumil Hawaii mm -hmm. in one of their workshops. The workshop, right? Yeah, yes. writing workshops. They have this yearly Labor Day workshop. Mm -hmm. So they invited me to, work, to, to conduct their workshop. And the old ladies of Gumil love mm -hmm. me. The wonderful ladies. Yes. And uh, the wonderful Pasita. ladies, mm -hmm. yes. Nana Pasita Salud is one of mm -hmm. my mentors in the community. Um, so from from then on, that was like Labor Day, September, they elected me as the president of the Anaktika Ilukwan mm -hmm. in December of that year. That's a uh, quick sprint. That's a quick sprint, right? Mm -hmm. True. And then after that, it just happened. And the following yeah. year, mm -hmm. um, I was nominated by Anaktika Ilukwan, mm -hmm. the America, mm -hmm. as the vice president for the Oahu Filipino Community Council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's where I started with with the OFCC, which is the Federation of the Filipino Associations on the island of Oahu. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's a big responsibility. It's a big responsibility, uh, Along true. with the uh, umbrella organization of right. uh, the United Filipino Council of Hawaii. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, being a president of the OFCC also comes with a seat at the Board of Governors mm -hmm. of the United Filipino Council of Hawaii. Mm -hmm and also a seat as an ex officio member of the board of directors mm -hmm. of the Philcom Center. Mm -hmm. So that's why on November 18th, we're going to have our President's Ball and um, Reaffirmation Night at mm -hmm. the Philcom Center because we want to bring back uh, and we, gotta, we want to give back to the Filipino Community Center because that's our own. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that thought, we're going to take a quick break here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. Uh, we come to your homes live from 12 to 12.30 uh, p.m. every Tuesday. We will be right back. Hey, Stan the Energy Man here on Think Tech Hawaii. And they won't let me do political commentary, so I'm stuck doing energy stuff. But I really like energy stuff, so I'm going to keep on doing it. So join me every Friday on Stan the Energy Man at lunchtime, at noon, on my lunch hour. We're going to talk about everything energy, especially if it begins with the word hydrogen. We're going to definitely be talking about it. We'll talk about how we can make Hawaii cleaner, how we can make the world a better place, just basically save the planet. Even Miss America can't even talk about stuff like that anymore. We got it nailed down here. So we'll see you on Friday at noon with Stan the Energy Man. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii every Tuesday at 12 noon. And today we're having a very um, candid conversation with my very special guest. And he, is, he has proven himself by his determination, resilient, uh, hard work, uh, dedication, and just an overall uh, wanting to do the right thing as a good guy. Uh, he is indeed my young idol, and this is Raymond Sebastian. Thank, thank you again. Um, yeah. 
It's a pleasure to uh, have you with us and uh, helping us with our empowerment. And um, I know you've been very um, uh, transparent in the things that you do, um, even wearing your emotions on your sleeves. So if you could uh, care to uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, your personal life and... Sure. Um, well, we talk about how I went through that depression when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I was 25. Mm -hmm. And it's still, um, it's still recurring. I have to admit that. It doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason why I'm very much willing to share this to everyone mm -hmm. is I just want to inspire people that despite having depression, it's, 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 it's uh -huh. a mental health condition. Mm -hmm. You cannot just shoot switch it, it away. off. Yeah, throw yes. it away and shoot, uh -huh. uh, just shut it down. Mm -hmm. And it happens. Um, when, when, when I was there, mm -hmm. I, was, I, was in, um, I was taking medications. Mm -hmm. it's, psych it's cyclical. I'm, I'm taking antidepressant in the morning. And I have to take sleeping pills in the evening mm -hmm. until one time I just got so tired. And then just I took about all the remaining mm -hmm. pills in my sleeping pills bottle mm -hmm. and I just swallowed everything. Mm. It was, I just, I, I didn't know. I, just, I said, I, I just like I said a while ago, I just mm -hmm. stopped caring. You and, got tired of that uh, vicious cycle of mm -hmm. uh, just like uh, going round and round. Mm -hmm. and That's correct. You, you can't get out of it. True. And... There's, it felt like there's, what's the point mm -hmm. of, of everything? So I guess it wasn't really my time then yet. Um, the even Lord if, has better things in store so, for you, sure. Raymond. Mm -hmm. So even with those number of pills that I took, mm -hmm. I still woke up, but with the most painful headache you could ever I imagine. Bet. And I was crying more when I woke up because I was so disappointed that I didn't die. You didn't succeed. I didn't succeed. Mm -hmm. But then again, like what you said, there could be a higher purpose mm -hmm. for all of this. Mm -hmm. And for me, I guess there is. And In which uh, you, you are thankful for. And I'm it's, thankful for. Mm -hmm. True, very true. Because mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine how my parents would have reacted to it. Actually, That's my, really very cruel thing to do. Yes. And mm -hmm. then... Um, after that incident, I, I... But you're not alone, uh, Raymond. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I know there are people out there. And mm -hmm. look at me. It's, this is the, the face of someone with, with... Someone dealing with depression. And I'm so thankful that I have a very, very understanding spouse. Mm -hmm. okay. Because... That matters a lot. That matters a lot. Because if I'm already feeling it, mm -hmm. I'm already telling that... It's here again, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you just have to bear with me for now. Mm -hmm. And again, learn how to talk. And it matters a lot when you have someone to talk to, friends. That can relate. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, yeah, that can relate. Or just someone who won't mm -hmm. judge you for, for mm -hmm. what you're feeling or what you're going through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone who would just listen. And you don't need, we don't need explanations. Mm -hmm. We don't need someone to empathize with mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. It's just letting it out mm -hmm. will already help. And again, I've learned how to cope mm -hmm. with my condition mostly because I think man, there's a higher purpose for me. Mm -hmm. There are more things that I could do for, for, not only for myself, but for my loved ones and for, for the community. And that's the reason to why I am where I am at. You lose your serve in uh, being in the service of others. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Actually, Idle Minds is are the devil's playground. Mm -hmm. So idle minds are the devil's playground. I mm -hmm. cannot afford mm -hmm. to be idle. To be idle. True. Yeah. So you I, know why, Raymond? Because you have a very brilliant mind. You know? <laughs> and I, I, I don't want to get emotional because I can relate to everything that you're saying because my mom suffers from that same... Oh. She, she has a beautiful mind. Brilliant and the ability to love unconditionally. But she does suffer from what you've described. And I, I understand that world. I totally understand it. So I can relate to what you're saying. And, and thank you. Thank you for being 
So transparent. You're, you're welcome, um, Madang Emmy, because again, there are so many people out there who just don't want to talk or shut down about it. We and hide it because we, hide we it feel because so there's, much shame. There's a stigma. There's a stigma when it comes to, to mental health. And some people would just, again, when you mentioned the crab mentality, they, they may take it against you. And it's not good, you know. It's it's a condition. It's a health condition, and we just help. We just need to help everyone who, who have it. And again, for for me, I, there's there's more. There's so much love that we can give into out into the world. We can always make this world a better <clears throat> place. Then, why should we hinder anyone, or why we, should we put down someone when when they're on the right path? And. I guess I have, I just have a very different perspective when it comes mm -hmm. to the world. I'm cynic too sometimes, but you know, I'll just I'll go with what's positive. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, uh, I need to learn to take more of the positive side. Uh, but I'm, I am very human and I'm very emotional. But I can be feisty too. <laughs> you know, you're not going to take me down without me having to uh, fight for what I feel, my conviction. So. You know. True, and it's it's good to have those convictions. It's good to have your own principles. It's good to have that you, we have to come to a point wherein we know ourselves. Mm -hmm. If we know ourselves, then no one can trample on us. No one can step on us, and that's what I've been trying to do in this community too. Um, I was called a proverbial newbie when uh -huh. I came in. I like it. Like, we need more of you. But for me, I, I guess calling me a proverbial newbie, yes, I am new to the Filipino uh -huh. community in Hawaii. But really, like what you said, since I was a kid, I, I was in elementary, high school, even when I was in college, uh -huh. I'm a small, I am a small town boy. I came from Luna, Isabela, which is just a very small town in, in the middle uh -huh. of Isabela. In, uh, in Isabella province in the Philippines. And That's where you probably learn how to coexist <laughs> in a, such a small uh, environment, small, small place. Like uh -huh. everyone knows everyone. Yes, yes. So uh, since everyone knows everyone, you have to be... You need and, to get along. Uh, yeah, you need to get along. Uh -huh. For, and plus, my, my mother was the principal of the high school where I went to. Uh -huh. And it's the only high school in our town. That That's means even that, more so because you're going to shame mama. Yes. If you misbehave. <laughs> That's okay. correct. All right. So, I, I, we always have to be in our best behavior all the mm -hmm. time because people are looking at us. Well, you are the role model, you know, principal son, so naturally you have to be in your best behavior. And then mm -hmm. I went to the University of the Philippines and I was the first graduate of my high school mm -hmm. to, to go to UP. And something that my mom was really proud of. Of course. And Mother's pride. I guess I'm a mama's boy. That's why I, I, I know how to deal, especially with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> That's an asset, okay. <laughs> and so, when I was, and when I was in UP, it, 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 the, the depression was there already. Uh -huh. And then I had to deal with it. Um, but see... On a bigger scale, yeah, a bigger because scale. you're talking uh, but, college, your yeah, master's. And I was alone. Mm. My parents were in the province. I was alone in uh -huh. Metro Manila. Then, what I, you know what I did? I. I became act I was a member of seven organizations when I was. That's a great way to keep yourself busy. Yeah, I was in UP. I was singing. I did musical theater. Uh -huh. I I was active with the cultural, academic, and social um, organizations. And mm -hmm. here, I was also with the student council of the University of the Philippines when I was in UP. So I was trained. And then when I went to the corporate world. Mm -hmm. Few months after, I was already on the leadership role. I was already a supervisor. Oh. So, and from then on, again, too much too soon. It's it's uh -huh. a it's a I was on the fast lane, mm -hmm. and it's the same. Too fast too soon. It, it's the same thing right now. But again, mm -hmm. again as I said, I, I think I'm, I'm I learned, and I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. There are times I still get tired, but I I I would think, if not me, who would not do this? Exactly. I know there are still people out there who would do that. The world, I know too that the world will continue on revolving without me. And that's a good thing, that's a good thought mm -hmm. to have because then that makes me feel not so special. Yeah. You have to have that feeling. You know, I was talking to, to Charles on mm -hmm. our way here that... Thank you, Charles, for always being here and in the back scene. Yes, and then he was tell, I was telling him, you cannot be 
a leader if your focus is yourself. There are certain people, people in our community who are in leadership roles, mm -hmm. or not just in our community, in general, mm -hmm. but they cannot succeed because they can, leadership goes into their head. Well, you know, it's, it's okay if you um, focus into the things that you are really born to do, uh, the talent, and accentuate that and share it with others. Sure. Because if, if you didn't develop that um, deeper confidence in you, how, how are you gonna share it with others? So uh, in a way, it's okay to focus, but, but share. True. And um, it, you're doing exactly that. Uh, you are really born to lead, Raymond, and, and you like to move fast. You can't be, uh, you can't stay put or be stagnant because sure. um, it, your mind is just running on high capacity. Uh, more clever uh, and uh, your spirit is so well traveled that you could uh, survive anywhere in this universe because your ability to adapt, your ability to uh, have respect for your surrounding, uh, whether young, old, nature, or um, anything that exists in this world, I know you have a deeper appreciation and meaning for yeah, life. True, and that's correct too. And I, again, I, I would wanna give back to my parents because mm -hmm. of that, because they have instilled in me their faith and their spirituality. So I still believe in the divine, and there's a greater purpose in everything, in everything that's happening in mm -hmm. this world. Um, I, I always advocate or go uh, for the underdogs or mm -hmm. the marginalized because they need the help. Um, it's, there's just so much things to do in this world mm -hmm. to make it a better place. Exactly, and, and you're doing everything uh, you can possibly do true. Uh, in and your capacity. That, that's, that's the one that, that's the purpose. Mm -hmm. it, that, that's the one that keeps me happy. And that's the one that I enjoy doing the most. Yes. It's, it's not the fame, it's not the honors, mm -hmm. it's not the prestige, because... But it's your passion. True, and why, it's, it's a hard work. Why <laughs> okay. is it true? Yeah, that's all. Anyway, yes. uh, we've run out of time. I need to uh, bring you back here, and uh, let's have more conversations on the LGBT that needs to be accepted in uh, all over in our community. Uh, but I want to congratulate you once again on your leadership. Uh, repeat the date once again. Again, November 18th, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Philcom Center. Um, please be with us. Uh, it's the President's Ball It's um, and the reaffirmation night of the uh, executive officers and directors of the Oahu Filipino Community Council. Also, uh, we're going to award and recognize all the presidents of the unit organizations under the OFCC, and we will award the scholarships for our 10 outstanding Filipino scholars. Wonderful. Keep up the good work and uh, the empowerment, and uh, I'm so happy that uh, you are out of the box, and you think out of the box. And, thank you. Um, happy at last. And thank you for inspiring me all the time. It, it's a, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> so like we say, agbyag. Agbyag. Thank you again for joining us here on Think Tech Hawaii on Pinoy Power Hawaii segment. We come to you live from 12 to 12.30 every Tuesday. And like we say, maraming maraming salamat po mabuhay, agyag, agyamanak launay. Much mahalo.